What's up everybody, 915man here. Before we get into the video, I was just wondering how many of you guys actually uh, mess around with mountain bikes. I got this hand-me-down. It's a gravity from my uh, brother-in-law. I plan on fixing it and getting out there and riding around. So if you're into mountain biking, let me know what kind of bike you ride. Uh, I'll probably take some video once it's done. I'm gonna go ahead and just scoop this stuff up. Like I said, I got this from Marine Depot. And uh, I'm gonna scoop it up because I don't want it all over my floor. Um, I've kind of always wanted this tank, the 25 gallon Innovative Marine Lagoon. And uh, right now, uh, it's sweet because they dropped, it had been sitting at 250 for a while but I had like I said I had um, had $25 in credit so I used that $25 on this and uh, redeemed it for my uh, for this tank so I'm very happy about that I finally got down about to open this up see what's up see what's up see what's in it I'm very very happy U line, U line everything. Part of the reason that I even have this tank is because of the video that they did on Andrew's Lagoon. His Instagram is Drew Lagoon. Check him out. Not like he needs me to push his Instagram over, but check him out. I know what you're thinking. Probably the same thing that my wife was thinking. I did catch some uh, flack for buying this, but like I said, it was on sale uh, because I had a $25 discount. I'm not sure if I'm going to turn this into, let's say, a frag tank or actually just run this as a little nano display. Um, some things that I want to do to it, like get uh, a skimmer or something like that, because uh, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Um, I know a lot of you are saying, you just got an acrylic tank. Hey, I guess. Hello. Hello. Come here, Pop. Come here, Pop. Hello. Good girl. Good girl. So those of you who have been following my channel for at least a year have uh, noticed that my little dog, the pup, has gotten a lot bigger. We got her in August last year. And now uh, that was just, uh, it's been over a year now. She's a little bit bigger now. And of course, her name is August. Let's take a look at the 150 gallon SC aquarium tank. Uh, what I do like about this tank is the side view, but the problem that I'm having in this tank right now is I have at least five anemones in my tank. Um, these suckers keep splitting and uh, I don't know what to do. I might take them to my favorite LFS, the coral reef. Um, I know Alan had uh, mentioned that he wanted some. I don't know. We'll see if I can get them out. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a little bit of a uh, view of this mess that I have on the side. Uh, I have so many corals. I just need to go ahead and make a day. Probably in the next video I'll have things glued down. Uh, but I need to clean up my, my frags. I have frags on frags from one end all the way to the other end. As you can see. And uh, I love it. I love having all these frags in different variety. I haven't done a tank update in quite a while, but uh, my buddy T, who's been subscribed for quite a while, uh, said that I needed to do a tank update. I've been doing videos of the LFSs. I've been doing videos of 
other things and topics, but uh, let's go ahead and do a video on the main display. Um, I want to show you my my tank as is. You know, I don't clean it up. My tank gets dirty just like yours, um, and that's good. It's okay to have phosphates, as you can see. My phosphates are high because they're uh, clouding up the glass. That's a good way to tell. Um, I am using the flipper is an awesome magnet. I need to go ahead and replace the blades. Um, when I had the blades brand new and I had this flipper brand new, this thing was awesome. It's been on a 120, been on a 180. It's on my 150. The glass is pretty thick. Still cleans really well, but uh, by far my favorite magnet cleaner. Um, I did have the uh, mag floats, you know, old school mag floats work good. But uh, the flipper, uh, it does a really good job at cutting out the algae that grows on the glass and I, for some reason I'm getting that really thick hard to take off algae and uh, that thing does amazing so as you can also see I do have cyano um, what I'm gonna do is bring that algae turf scrubber online that I got from Santa Monica filtration I think that thing is gonna be beast uh, it's gonna do amazing and uh, you know what just click the subscribe button to follow along but I am going to make a uh, series on that like the unboxing the uh, installation the first um, algae turf scrubber cleaning and etc and all that good stuff but let's take a look at some of the corals because that's what I want to do and uh, it wouldn't be a complete update unless I did a top-down view of corals because everything looks different from the top down um, today we'll do the top down with the uh, daylights running and the T5 and then next time we'll do a top down with the uh, LEDs and some gel filter I think that will look pretty sweet so those of you who are still with me let's get into the good stuff let's get into the top down shots you're, these are colors that you're not going to get to see just looking straight at your tank uh, gives you a different perspective you can really appreciate the colors you see the coral growth more easily and uh, everything is looking okay. Not everything in my tank, but the pieces that I got. Um, I got this piece from the coral reef and uh, man, look at it. The color is looking good. I was scared to kill some of these SPS because uh, if you've seen the their tank, uh, the corals are looking really good and I got some big healthy chunks. Now this piece right here, I got from uh, cultivatedreef.com. Check them out. Say hello to Holly. Tell them 915 Mang sent you. So maybe I can get a discount on the next one. But doing really good. Um, this little piece right here. I don't know the name of it. Also doing well. I believe I got it from Alan at the Coral Reef. Uh, I got a lot of pieces from him and Cultivated Reef. Now this piece right here is a bubble gum digi. It's almost dead bare bone white. And uh, I'm, as soon as this video is over, I'm going to get that piece. I'm going to move it to uh, lower light because obviously it's not happy there. Um, the Bubblegum Digi is an awesome piece and uh, I'm about to kill it. So hopefully I can bring it back to life um, by doing some coral placement. Now I did want to show you the uh, Purple Stylo. This thing is beast, man. If you had this, it's way bigger than a softball, as you can see. Uh, polyps extended got this piece from a cultivated reef as a small little nub and as you can see a couple years fast forward this thing is awesome T its color is great and I've, I've actually bumped into it a couple of times on accident and uh, some pieces break but most of it just stays together it's a great piece and also if you're looking into getting into SPS, I highly recommend the Purple Stylo. It's a great piece. Um, you can find them around pretty cheap. If you're local to me in my area, you want to pick up a piece, holler at me, give me a comment down below. Charge you 20 bucks. Um, also, my per pink bird's nest is actually not even mine. Uh, I have been having some issues with it, um, but most of it is still alive, which is great because that one is my wife's. Um, this piece right here, the green slimer, another piece that I picked up online. And uh, as you can see, 
this the white tips are growing it's a sign of new growth um i did give a frag to alan for his collection and uh this thing is growing back really well um and i i'm gonna give credit to that because i am dosing now i'm dosing alkalinity calcium vinegar and uh, everything is looking good now my fish went ahead and fed them a little bit so you can take a look at some of the fish how they're doing and everything because i am running some issues with ick i have a video coming out on the food that i'm using and things like that for you guys to check out uh later on during the week this piece right here i'm not kidding i got this as a little tiny piece i got this from Corey, known as 6t7 mustang on instagram but now he sells corals and his page is budman corals budman's corals check him out he has a lot of sps um this piece right here is a green montipora now i was about to ask my buddies alan and everybody else who have given uh green monty frags to because i totally ran out of green montipora they died in my tank and as you can see i have a little bit of peace coming back and it's growing and which i'm really excited about it because i really like that green montipora so now i have the green montipora I have the red monopora and I have the purple Idaho, which is also a monopora. So really happy about that. I also even have a rainbow monopora, which is uh, growing out on the bottom of the tank, which I'll show you. Have lots of Aptasia still. Um, I'm gonna charge up my laser, see if that does anything, and uh, also probably hit up and look for some peppermint shrimp. But as you can see, green slimer is on point. It's doing really good. Another good beginner coral for you to get. Like I said, I've ha I'm not the SPS master. Uh, my tank has had its ups and downs. Purple style survived. And the uh, green slimer has done really well in my tank. Another good piece right now that's doing really good because it's not under direct light for me is this frog spawn. This frog spawn is huge. Uh, it's doing really good. It has really dark dark greens and dark deep purples and uh, i'm going to try to zoom in a little bit more so you guys can check that out yourself but uh one of my favorite pieces when when i did my uh tank move from the 180 into this tank um i was worried about this piece because i didn't want to break it or anything like that but for the longest time my uh frog spawn would stay uh small and now since i went to the 180 and also the 150 uh, it has gotten a lot bigger um, right here my Miami hurricane great piece right here very deadly it has its own shelf and it's actually sitting on some shelf rock if you look back in further videos you can see it was small and it's completely taken over that shelf rock which is important because this little thing that thing is a beast and will sting the crap out of everything make sure to check out my coral warfare video if you haven't seen it already and uh, check that out the uh, piece right here in the center is a pink Ghani and man I think I about killed it, it sucks because I just picked it up I'm gonna do a coral unboxing video on that but uh, everything else you know seems to be doing okay I guess the pink Ghani turned like that because um, maybe it didn't have enough flow so let's go ahead and take a look a closer look at some of these SPS right here uh, this is called a strawberry shortcake and I got it from Allen at the coral reef um, some things are just better to buy at your LFS than online but check out the colors I'm really happy because when I got it the colors were pretty nice and now um, looking at it eye level was pretty much all green but looking at it on the top down view that you just saw it has some nice nice coloration nice bright pinks on it and hopefully it turns more pink so I can go ahead and get some more SPS because I'll tell the wife hey look look how pink that is and then she'll let me get some more uh, this jack-o-lantern right here has been getting its butt kicked um, I don't know why I guess I had some things covering it uh, it's important to do daily coral inspections I have so much coral though that sometimes it's hard for me to keep up you know if, if I notice something down I'll pick it up or I'll get it the next day and by that time things will already damage it these anemones are awesome they're 
colors on them are real nice deep greens and bright pinks and but I do want to show you what they're doing to my mystic monopora the the grape Idaho grape monopora is doing good it's plating it's doing awesome and when I got it it was a tiny tiny piece I traded it for a protein skimmer which I felt like I was getting ripped off because it was so tiny it was not even like a dime size or not even big at all um, those polyps star polyps if you're local and you want some hit me up I'll charge you 10 bucks or 5 bucks something like that give you a big frag probably all of it but uh, I do want to talk about this fire shrimp right here this fire shrimp has been awesome because I have ick in my tank and he has been cleaning up the fish especially my powder blue uh, those of you who don't know powder blues are pretty difficult to keep keep them healthy and everything and that fire shrimp right there has been picking up cleaning up the uh, tangs all of the tangs has been doing really well I'm gonna go ahead and put the feed mode back on my DC return pump uh, my buddy Tony who is a reefer on YouTube was telling me that he liked the AC pumps because they're more re reliable personally he does have a point I did hit the feed mode button AC pumps for me didn't they don't do that unless you probably have an apex but uh, I'm gonna stick with the DC pump I did a video on the Aquamax and make sure you guys check it out this piece right here awesome it's doing really good I'm scared to move it but I'm gonna move it around a little bit because the anemones there are stinging the crap out of the mystic monopora which is the coral on the left you can see it's all white and closer to the Garf bonsai you can see that it is deep red with little blue speckles and it's doing really good my Garf bonsai so I'm gonna move my rock adjust it a little bit to the right so that the stupid anemones can't sting it and destroy it um, it's doing really good you know these T5's LEDs work really well um, I get questions all the time what LEDs are you running I'm running the Photon version 2 uh, 50 inch LEDs you can get them on reef breeders and I have a link down below uh, the link down below all it does is you click it you don't have to look for anything if you decide to buy something later on when you get some money or whatever guess who gets a little bit of credit me so I'll use that and use that for coral or whatever keep this channel going but in this video we're gonna go ahead and wrap things up a little bit um, it's already going on 18 minutes for those of you who stuck around gonna watch it later on when you have some more time thank you very much hit that like button hit that subscribe text this video to somebody you know share it on the farms and help me out I appreciate you guys thanks for watching you guys take care have a good one